Hello everyone, this is Leo from MCSoft. On October 19th, we released our brand new version 12 lineup of products. So in this video, I'll be walking you through some of the important settings and features. The first thing you might notice is the addition of game mode. When you turn this toggle on, it is going to suppress notifications and background activities letting you play your games or watch your movies in peace. Isn't it annoying when you get interrupted with a pop-up while using a full screen application or your game slows down because a background activity is going on? Now that can be avoided. Game mode in MCSoft Anti-Malware is also highly customizable, meaning you can choose which particular activities to suppress and which ones to allow. We're going to notice more of this as we go through settings. Under permissions, you can password protect your MCSoft settings in case you're running it on a family computer and there are other users who should not tamper with the settings. Whitelisting is very easy under exclusions. So if a particular file or folder that you know is safe is being detected as a false positive, you can exclude it from scanning or monitoring depending on what your issue is. You can either add individual programs or entire folders. This is a very intuitive interface and you can choose whatever you want to whitelist in no time at all. Under notifications, you can customize exactly what notifications you want to appear and for how long. The default notification location has also changed to right center. And if you want it to be down at the bottom, you can do so over here. You can also change the position of the notifications to literally any portion of the screen. So if you're wondering how to get those notifications back to where they were, this is how you can do that. You can also find an individual toggle here to decide whether or not you want to see notifications while you're in game mode. As I mentioned before, the functionality of game mode is highly customizable. Under updates, again, we have a game mode setting here letting us decide whether or not we want to run automatic updates while in game mode. If you're more of a movie person and don't really play multiplayer games, then you probably want to run your automatic updates in game mode as well because it wouldn't really affect your activities. However, if you play multiplayer games and you want the best pings, then you probably want to have this option turned on. While scheduling scans, you can also decide whether or not they should be performed when game mode is enabled. If you're used to playing resource intensive games, you probably want to turn this on. Since scans do take up some amount of CPU, you probably don't want to run them if you're playing a really resource intensive game to have the ideal experience. However, if you're doing light gaming and you have a powerful system or you're just watching movies, you should be fine running your scheduled scans while you're doing that. As with all other cases, we leave the choice in your hands and you can turn this toggle on or off depending on your preferences. If you would like remote logs of everything that is detected on your computer while you are away, you can configure FileGuard to send you email notifications by providing a sender and receiver address over here. As you may have noticed already, if you've used MCSoft Anti-Malware before, the interface should look instantly familiar. And for those of you who are still wondering where that full scan option is, it is simply the custom scan. So by default, the custom scan performs a full scan. You can also perform a quick scan and a malware scan, and we recommend the malware scan for a balance of speed and effectiveness. Let us know your thoughts about the brand new version 12 user interface in the comments below. We are excited to hear your feedback. We also have a lot of great stuff coming up on our YouTube channel, so make sure you're subscribed. And for more information on our products, please visit mcsoft.com. This is Leo, and I'll catch you in the next one.